welcome back to my channel if you're new here what's good my name is Kishto. i'm the owner of vicky g cosmetics made by a girl like you for you so as you can see i'm not going to be showing my face in this video but me and my new press ones we say hey girl hey so this video is going to be about how i feel my tubes um i don't know if you guys have had any trouble as far as like filling your tubes it might be too much air in the tubes um just whatever i've had trouble using a syringe sometimes i feel like i'm literally like trying to like force the gloss to go in the tube and then the pipe back comes off i make a mess like it was just too much so i did see um a picture i was in a group on facebook i can't remember the name of the group but somebody had showed a picture it was a screenshot basically of somebody um how they was filling their tubes and i was like yo this is a really cool idea let me give it a try so we will not be using a syringe in this we will not be using a syringe what we are going to be using you guys are these condiment bottles now these condiment bottles are really good they're large size i think these hold 16 ounces if i'm not mistaken these are from dollar tree you can get two in a pack for a dollar right so when i first started i actually bought these smaller condiment tubes this is actually my clear gloss uh round away girl in this tube and i got these from amazon i forget how many i got in the pack and i forget how much it costs you guys but i got this size because it's only eight ounces i was like you know this is the perfect size um the only thing with these these are like really good quality so i had a hard time cutting the tip off and i'll get into that a little bit later when i show you how to fill it but these work a lot better they're a lot cheaper and it's a lot easier to cut the tip off so as you can see right here i have pre-made gloss i made this is nudie, I mean nudie pie. This is Pillow Princess, excuse me. This is my Pillow Princess gloss, pigment, pink nude gloss. And I actually just remixed it. I add more pink pigment into it and I made it more pigment so that it shows up on your lips like really, really good and you don't need much of it. So I'm actually remixing a couple more products. Um, I'm actually re re remixing uh, nudie pie as well. We're adding more pigment to that as well. That is my brown nude. And these are my best selling glosses actually. So I just wash my hands and I'm gonna sanitize them. My hands are freshly washed. I'm gonna sanitize them. I'm gonna put my gloves on. And then we're gonna get into the video. I'm gonna actually show you guys the consistency of this video. And right here, I just have a couple tubes I want to fill on camera for you guys. We'll let that dry. And yeah, that's the video. That's what we're doing today. I'm not gonna to make this super long. I hope my gloves do not rip because I got this little butterfly. Ain't these nails so cute? Any press-ons. If you follow me on IG, you know I always show off all the black businesses I shop with. So you can definitely uh, check out my page. Make sure you follow me on IG, Vicky G Cosmetics. Um, I have a whole black business highlight on my page and it's updated all the time. So, And also, if you ever just want to send me some things, girl... My P.O. box is in the description box. I'll show your things off, baby girl. That ain't nothing. So, yeah, you guys. Oh, let me update y'all on some things. I actually just got my first YouTube check. Hello. So, if you guys want a video about that, uh, let me know. Leave a, a comment in the, um, in the comment section. Let me know if you want a video about me receiving my first YouTube check, how much it was, and, you know, as far as, you know, understanding your analytics and your RPM and the CPM and all that other good stuff. So, back to this video, this gloss. This gloss is beautiful, by the way. This is Nudie Pie. And I have lots of pigment in it now. The consistency is just so bomb. It's so, it's so smooth. Like, look at that. It's... Like, the perfect, it's not too thick, and it's not too thin. It's just perfect. And if you guys watch my most viewed video, which is how to make, you know, the best clear gloss recipe, um, I use those measurements. You know, and if you want to make more and double up, you just double up on the, um, the measurements. So, I just want to, this is just so satisfying to look. But, yeah, it's so pigmented now. You're not going to have to put a lot on. Just a new look, same great quality. Um, Nudie Pie, I mean, Pillow, I keep calling it Nudie Pie. Pillow Princess is actually one of my best sellers. So I know the girls are going to be even more pleased 
with this. You know, I never got any complaints about it, but I just felt like it needed some more pink. And it does have like some little gold shimmer in it. And I just added strawberry flavoring. So that's a new um, addition to it. But I just like sitting here mixing it. Like it just looks so cute. Do not mind my work area in the back. This is where I get right. Feel me? So let me show y'all how we're going to do this. So boom. So this bottle, you want to make sure you wash your bottles when you get them and all that good stuff. This has already been sanitized. So what I do, I just take the top off. You can take this off. I'm going to attempt to fill this on camera. And hopefully I do not make a mess because I know I'm clumsy. I'm like super clumsy. We're going to set this here. Again, we are not using syringes. If syringes work for you, baby girl, go ahead. Sometimes I will use syringes. I won't lie. Um, especially if I'm doing like a small amount of gloss. Like maybe I'm like just doing, you know, I wanted to make like a small batch. I might use a syringe, but as of late, I haven't. And I have this cute little stand. Um, it's actually a vinyl stand. If you work with the Cricut, um, you know what I'm talking about. It's a stand and it has all these like little holes. It has about 10 different holes on it and it stands like upright. I actually laid it down on my table and I just fit these right into the holes. So, you know, whenever I need to go grab me a gloss, boom, 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 it's lit. You also do want to make sure you have your pipette. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to mix this up a little bit. Just a little bit more. I'm going to get another napkin so I can lay this spoon on the napkin. Because I want to keep this one clean. So let me mix it up a little bit more. I just like looking at it. All right, so we're going to hold this here. And we're going to hope mama don't make a mess. Because I know I'm clumsy. Child, wish me luck. All right. So, oh, I have a little, I cracked this bowl a little bit. I'm so tight. Like the stores here where I'm at, they don't even sell styrofoam no more. So I got these like little plastic bowls from um, Dollar Tree. But whatever, we're going to make it work. I had a crack in a bowl at the tip. So, and that's just going to go in like that. Oh, I'm doing good, y'all. If you want to actually like go and measure your items so that you can get a 16 ounce bottle like full, that'd be good too. So I'm just scraping everything out because we don't waste nothing over here. We do not waste anything. So how did you guys enjoy my last video? My last video was actually a live. That's something I wanted to try out. I see it got like over 100 views. I'm very appreciative of that. Thank you guys so much. I didn't plan on it being that long. It was like an hour or so long. But um, I think I'm going to start going live more on YouTube and see how that works. Because I'm live so often on IG. I figured let's bring it to YouTube and see how that works out. You know. So, boom. I pretty much got this all scraped out. I want you guys to see. Let me see that. Pretty much got. We almost got the whole um, the whole container filled. All right, that's all it's given right now. We're gonna set this off to the side on my other table. So boom, I'm gonna take a little piece of this and just clean the top off because I did make a tiny, tiny mess. I'm, I'm proud of me. <laughs> I'm proud of me. Because I am messy. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, this is the bottle. You're going to take your top. What I like to do, make sure you have a pair of scissors. Like I said, these are much easier. Maybe I can show y'all the, um, the top on here. I don't know if you can see, but it's very, it's very thick. It, I had to cut this. Oh, my God. It was so hard to cut it. But I guess because these are like better quality bottles. And you can tell the bottle is even a little thicker than this bottle. But I liked it because it was a small size. I didn't have to make OD gloss, you know. So I still I actually still have a bottle of uh, a bag of these. Maybe like 10. I think I want to say I ordered maybe 12. I'm going to use them though. I'm just going to have to like suck it up and um, cut the tip. But these tips are so much easier. It is not as thick as that one. And I usually cut like right where this line is. Super easy. 
we're gonna cut this oh not you giving me trouble today on camera all right oh yeah all right <laughs> so we cut that you can see it's cut let me make sure the circle is good so it is cut you want to put this back on top of here and then you want to uh, screw your top on now a good idea you can take a marker like a permanent marker you can write the name of your glosses on here if you don't know you know what i mean if it's easier for you you can make a little label um real simple real easy um and boom this is our gloss this is our gloss so what i like to do is take my pipette same way the same way you do with it you have a um what is it called the syringe so you just want to take your pipette and put it on the tip and push down as far as you can without splitting it so something i am going to do today is i'm going to actually use some tape can you guys see that? I'm going to use some tape today. Because I did have the pipe. The pipe has shoots off sometimes. I don't know. It'd be acting up. So I already had a piece of, um, this is scotch tape, masking tape, whatever. It's tape. Should I have used a bigger piece? I don't know. But I'm just going to wrap it around the nozzle, the head, whatever you want to call it. Or whatever, and wrap and wrap it around very tightly. I don't think I did it that tight. We're gonna use another piece. I be having everything on camera. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna do another little piece. I guess you could use as much tape as you feel comfortable using. You know. Everything is trial and error. Like I said, I never used tape before. So hopefully this works out great for me. We will see. Ooh, child, you heard my stomach? I need to eat. I ain't eat nothing today. I had coffee and water. And tea, green tea. All right, boom. And there you go. This is like your super soaker syringe without actually using a syringe. Right, so I have these tubes here. This is just a couple. I'm actually gonna fill a lot more off screen, but I just wanna show y'all how easy it is. So these are my clear tubes. These are my transparent tubes. These hold 10 ml. These are my squeeze tubes. These are 8 ml. And I just wanna show you guys how easy it is to fill these. So I just make sure the product gets all the way to the tip. Can you see? And then we're going to fill these bad boys. And then you want to start at the bottom. As you can see, it's going. Take your time. You don't want to OD squeeze. And you know what? Pause. I played myself. And I'm going to show you how I played myself. Move it so damn fast because I'm not trying to make this video long. My bad, y'all. Cut the tip of your, <laughs> of your pipe at. That's why it was going so slow. Listen, trial and error. Like I always say, do as I say, not as I do. We're going to make mistakes. And I really don't like to edit my videos too much. I like to be one take mommy. Get it done. So, yes, you want to cut the cut the end of your pipe at, please. Cut the end so it be a bigger hole and we can fill it up way faster. You see, this was filling up so slow. I'm sorry, y'all. All right, back to the video. Unpause. Boom. Now, there we go. Can you guys see that? And with these um, these wand tubes, you do not want to fill all the way to the top. Because if you fill all the way to the top, your stopper is not going to go in. And trust me, once you put your uh, your wand brush actually in, it's going to fill the tube up. And this is just, this just, I feel like this just works so much faster. I don't know. It's me. That's how I feel. And this is a beautiful, beautiful color, full of pigment. There's some little, um, very light shimmer. 
like gold um, shimmer in it. And it's just a pretty ass color. This will look good with, with a brown liner under it. You know me, brown liner is the answer. Brown liner is that girl. Brown liner goes with everything. And we have a brown liner. It's called a three in one liner, a Vicky G liner. And I do my brows with it. I line my lips. I line my eyes. It's per and it's the perfect brown. You want to just make sure you get all the spaces. And I could probably do this much faster, but I'm over here being shaky hands. But I just want to show you guys. I hope I'm showing y'all like good in the video. So we're going to move to some squeeze tubes. Squeeze tubes you, are really tricky. You want to make sure you hit the corners first. I'll show it in the next one. I don't think I showed y'all good enough. And then you want to go side to side. And like I said, you do not want to squeeze too hard. I kind of like go in a circle. You know, and these, the thing I like about squeeze tubes, you can fill these up. You can fill these up, but you don't want to fill too, too much because when you put the top on, you don't want the gloss to like start um moving into the top. Can you guys see that? You don't want the gloss to start moving to the top. You don't want to sell nothing like that because it's going to look like it's been used. And I've, I've actually thrown like tops away because after I went in and looked at them, I was like, oh no, the gloss moved to the top. And I was like, no, that's not cute. So y'all see that? I'm going to show you how I go. Hit the corners first. Put a little bit in the corner. Go to the next corner and then squeeze the bottom so that it hits the corners. I hate seeing glosses and it be mad open space in the corners. And then I go side to side and then I just start going in a circle. Can you guys see that? And like I said, I love that you can just fill these to the brim, girl. Fill me up. And yeah, this is Nudie Pie. All right, I feel like I'm doing too much now. So I'm just gonna, that's it. I'm just gonna fill these on camera for y'all real quick. I'm gonna try to just see. I did not take long at all. It is very pigmented. It is a nice, this is Pillow Princess, you guys. I'm going to show you the squeeze tools. I'm going to fill the rest of these off camera. But yeah, I feel like this is super easy. It does not hurt my arm. I'm not sitting there, you know, with the syringe. Sometimes you can't even fill a syringe all the way up. And then you're trying to squeeze down. And while you're trying to squeeze down, the gloss be falling out the pipe bag. It just be too much. And sometimes a lot of air get caught in these things. And it was just really frustrating me. So I'm just really happy I seen that screenshot on Facebook. And all you got to do... When you're done with this, you just take your pipette off and close it and set it to the side. And this eliminates a lot of space. I still, I'm about to transfer all of my glosses actually to these type of bottles because I have a bunch of, uh, what's the name, bowls. You know, like the Tupperware bowls, the Rubbermaid and all that. I have a bunch of bowls that's taking up space and I can eliminate that space if I put it in these bottles and this takes up so much less space than, you know, the big Tupperware bowls. So, I did want to put a um, little sample. I like to make samples for myself, you guys. So, I'm going to put a little sample here so you guys can... Um, I want you to see how pigment the gloss is. So, I just squeeze. I actually used to sell my samples in here. But we now just got some new mini squeeze tubes in that are 5ml. And we're going to sell those as, you know, our little samples. I'm going to set this one to the side. Um, like I said, I used to sell these as my samples and I will provide these um, disposable lip applicators. But we're gonna use this for the sake of the video. So this is it, this is uh, Pillow Princess, the Remix 2.0. And first I just wanna show y'all how, how it looks on here. You guys see? And now maybe I'll put it here. And I just want you to see you guys see that? I'll put another spot. So I just want you to see how pigment it gets. And this is gonna look amazing on your lips. Like, girl, that's gonna be cute. So I will be taking some pictures um, cause I do wanna show uh, the girls and the boys, you know, how it looks on your lips. I'm actually taking new pictures 
of a lot of products. We're revamping the website and everything. I have so many new things coming, you guys. So I want to thank y'all for watching. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for watching my ads. Um, I appreciate y'all so much, so, so much. Um, yeah, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any other video ideas you want me to do, please let me know. Um, leave a comment in the comment section. I try to get back to everybody, if not everybody. You understand? Like, I'm not one of those people. Like, I love responding with y'all. I love interacting with y'all and all that good-ish. So, thank you for watching my video. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.